story of the Lady of All Nations begins in 1940. World War II. Hitler orders the invasion of Holland on Germany's western border. One week later, Holland surrenders to German occupation. In the capital, Amsterdam, 34-year-old secretary Ida Perdeman has visions of aspects of the war that are not common knowledge. The war rages. Then, in March of 1945, while chatting with her sisters and a visiting priest, suddenly Ida sees a glowing light. To Ida, it seems to be the same Blessed Virgin Mary that Ida had had visions of when she was 12 years old, a beautiful woman who now speaks to Ida, calling herself the Lady, Mother. The lady in the vision shows Ida soldiers, saying that they will come home soon, holding up five fingers. Then, on May 5, Canadian forces liberate Holland, and soon the Allies overran Germany and the war was finally over. During the next 15 years, the lady gives to Ida a total of 56 messages. By 1996, then Amsterdam Bishop Hendrik Bomers, with his auxiliary bishop Josef Punt, gave permission for the public veneration of Mary as the Lady of All Nations. Yearly, a day of prayer in her honor is held in many countries of the world, such as here in the Philippines. Her message and legacy are found around the world. They made this map of Marian apparitions. In Europe, most of the apparitions took place. But this year, another reign of fear and death haunts the world with the global pandemic of the coronavirus 19 and with the required social distancing, large gatherings are out. So, Following the lady's own urgings to use modern means to spread her image and her special prayer for peace, a day of prayer from Amsterdam was streamed live over the Internet. But now the world is swirling in even more increasing tensions. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Leave this area immediately. People suddenly taking a serious look together at prejudice. People demonstrating for respect, marching for peace, real peace, as promised to us by the Lady of All Nations. Amid this storm, at the 2020 Day of Prayer in honor of the Lady of All Nations, the Bishop of Amsterdam, Josef Punt, celebrated the live-streamed Holy Pentecost Mass. Standing before this, the original image painted to the Lady's instruction Bishop Punt spoke to all the nations of the world. We end with the Lady of All Nations prayer, led by the visionary herself, Ida Perdeman. Daughter 